Over time, action games have continued to evolve, from the 2D platformer-centric designs of the past to the more varied offerings that the gaming public has access to today. To say nothing of games in general, with so many action games out there, it can be difficult to choose which ones to play and enjoy. We'd like to recommend a handful for our audience to play, and we hope that this list is applicable not only to newcomers to gaming or to the genre itself, but also to more savvy gamers in general. This list has been narrowed down to games released within this current generation, rather than spanning across the great history of gaming itself. So without further ado, here are the 15 best action games of the current generation that you need to play. Please note that there are hundreds of great action games out there, so consider this list as our own opinion. Uncharted 4 what with the name the Uncharted franchise made for itself on the PlayStation 3, Uncharted 4 is a game that can be recommended on its own merits as well, continuing the legacy of past releases. But this time, the game sees a greater emphasis on stealth, combat options, and area exploration in comparison to some of its predecessors. Uncharted 4 also marks the conclusion of gaming icon Nathan Drake's saga as a protagonist, returning from retirement for one last adventure, and ultimately releasing to widespread critical acclaim. God of War for PS4 Releasing earlier this year, the newest God of War game is quite the evolution from its first release on the PlayStation 2. More drama, more storytelling, it's a more mature game compared to what we've seen in the past. The care given to all aspects of its development yielded not only positive reception, but won Golden Joystick Awards for Best Storytelling and as the PlayStation 4's Game of the Year. For those who would be coming to this from previous games, it must be said that Kratos' newest adventure plays vastly different from previous entries, but the results are nonetheless great. Marvel's Spider-Man Not a few months after the launch of the game, Marvel's Spider-Man is an astonishing work of gaming art, boasting an immense and sprawling world, engaging characters, and a well-structured story. The game is a start of a new Spider-Man story should the developers decide to pursue sequels for the narrative arcs established here. When you consider that Spider-Man's story has been told many times across media and with different variations, that this game should be so engaging is impressive. Be sure to stay for the post-game content and DLC as well, and it should be said that Marvel's Spider-Man has much to offer for completionists and those who love personal customization. Gears of War 4 Gears of War 4 continues past the trilogy on the Xbox 360 and introduces a new development team at the helm. The Locust and the Lament are no more, somewhat. The enemy is the evolutionary successor to the Locust, known as the Swarm. Similarly, this game follows the protagonist, J.D. Phoenix, son of Marcus Phoenix and Anya Stroud, from the previous games. And while mostly keeping the Gears series formula intact, it also introduces new gameplay mechanics and weapons. Gaming Bolt is glad to see this flagship series continue, and we cannot wait to see what new adventures lie in wait with Gears 5. Batman Arkham Knight The Arkham series is a consistently popular action game series featuring excellent combat depth while managing to make a stoic and dark character like Batman look as dynamic as the many options that he has available to him for fighting. The game has much to offer in terms of content, and the story is full of twists and turns. A good number of Batman's rogues gallery are here to give players a difficult time, including, but not limited to, the Riddler, Two-Face, Scarecrow, and the Arkham Knight. The Batmobile is also introduced in this title, adding a new dimension to gameplay. Arkham Knight, much like the villain Scarecrow, really emphasizes the psychological aspect of being Batman, and this makes this game a treat to play. Dark Souls 3 Releasing after Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3 is something of an alternate take on the Souls series, even if it is still not a radical departure from previous games. More detailed and expansive individual maps are combined with speedier gameplay. Dodge rolling is introduced and movement in general is faster. With such an engaging, albeit often frustratingly difficult gameplay formula, the Souls series have definitely made their mark on the gaming industry and with the gaming public. Whether or not the franchise continues, Dark Souls 3 is a worthy title for any fan of action games, and for those with the requisite level of patience. Those Souls games are still definitely rewarding. Red Dead Redemption 2 Rockstar's newest adventure in the twilight of the Wild West is an essential experience for those hoping to be a connoisseur of action games. Its leading protagonist, Arthur Morgan, is vastly different from John Marston of the first Red Dead Redemption game. It's not just the action that makes Red Dead Redemption 2 such a necessary game to play, but perhaps more importantly, it is everything that the gameplay is built on. 
The staggering level of detail in the world environment, the myriad of game mechanics that operate and connect everything in the game, it's more than a description can do for it. It has to be played to be believed. Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain When Metal Gear Solid V was first announced, it was met with a not insignificant amount of trepidation. A snake not voiced by famed David Hayter, the apparent and increasingly strained relationship between then Metal Gear Solid designer Hideo Kojima and publishing company Konami. The recipe seemed like it was a setup for disaster, but what ultimately released between prequel title Ground Zeroes and our own recommendation Phantom Pain is not only a worthy addition to the Metal Gear franchise, but a more than worthy action game in its own right. Horizon Zero Dawn Horizon Zero Dawn is especially great in its use of a variety of nature settings and its vision of post-apocalyptic technology. The female hunter Aloy is the protagonist on a journey to uncover her past, and winds up finding out so much more about the world around her and becoming involved in a struggle greater than herself. With a great degree of customization, a compelling story of growth, and a work of great graphical detail and vision, this is not an action game to miss. Neo Cult favorite Neo is an action RPG game that has earned a fervent cult status amongst gamers. Team Ninja brought to this a strong background in action gaming, and as a result, Neo became known for its responsive gameplay and strong sense of setting, placing the protagonist against yokai running rampant in Sengoku, Japan. Since this game's release, the question of whether or not Neo could return with a sequel was a lingering question, but earlier this year fans were treated to the announcement of Neo 2 and due for the PS4. Bloodborne Hidetake, Miyazaki, and From Software, the developers of the Souls series, splintered off from the established success of their influential action franchise to make Bloodborne, a similarly Western fantasy-inspired title with many apparent similarities to Souls games, but expressing a unique vision and gameplay experience that separates it from the shadow of its Souls game predecessors. Aggressive is the combat, horror is the theme. From Souls to Soulsborne, brought to you by From Software. There's no telling if Bloodborne will receive a sequel at the moment, but it's a worthy game in its own right. Near Automata Platinum Games' pedigree for action games has long since been established before 2017's Near Automata. Despite weak commercial performance and tepid review scores, the first Near game later found a cult following in no small part for its complex story, but with Near Automata, the franchise made an absolute breakthrough. It sold amazingly well and continues to do so, and part of that gaming package is a captivating story with a compelling world and an amazing juxtaposition between emptiness and togetherness as told by its characters, all with the action flashiness that Platinum Games is known for. Near Automata is a game that all gaming fans must play, and hopefully play again. Titanfall 2 This futuristic shooter series allows players to utilize both specialized combat role mechanical suits called Titans and pilot characters with a host of mobility and offensive options. Despite the amount of tools at one's disposal, Titanfall games reward deliberate and methodical gameplay. Players are given an immense suite of movement options, but must proceed with care. Titanfall 2 also introduces a proper single-player story campaign, which alternates between the protagonist, Jack Cooper, and him operating his Titan, nicknamed BT, alongside a heavily improved multiplayer experience with more game modes. It ended up underperforming relative to EA's expectations, but let's hope that a new Titanfall game is in the cards for the future. Assassin's Creed Origins the series has come a long way since it began with telling the story of Ezio, and it has more than the power and sense of history that so strongly and uniquely informs each game behind it to back it up. The Assassin's Creed series has evolved over time, incorporating more RPG-style progression gameplay elements, which introduces more depth to the experience and crafting an interesting lore that defies explanation but demands engagement. Though the newest game in the series, Odyssey, set in Greece, released a great commercial aplomb, we invite those looking to try action games to play last year's Origins. Set in Egypt, it could be said to mark the beginning of a new direction for Assassin's Creed games, and it's worth it to see how it all started and to appreciate Origins in its own right. Doom Doom, releasing in 2016, was the first proper new game in the franchise for more than a decade. While the third game was re-released in 2012, this game successfully brought the franchise out of its hellish slumber as a reboot of the franchise. 
Bethesda and developer id Software fully embraced a violent and gory direction for this reintroduction of the FPS series, as one might expect. The next title in the Doom franchise, Doom Eternal, sounds exciting for fans of the series as well, and is poised to capture game fans with even more detailed graphical renderings, new weapons and gameplay modes, and demon dismemberment. Fans and gamers have been warned. And that wraps up our list of action games that are must-plays for this generation. Did you play any of the games on this list? Be sure to comment on your experiences below, and if you think that there's a game that belongs on a list of essential action games to try this generation, we'd love to hear your thoughts on that as well. As fans of gaming, we like to encourage and circulate all sorts of awesome experiences for others to enjoy, so thanks for watching. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.